I'm here at the airport thinking, let's do a little morning vlog ski. It's too early. With velocities and whoever else wants to. <laughs> it is too early. Hey, get in. Get in here. Hello, get in, friends. <laughs> hey, get in. Gonna be in this vlog. Hi, Australian Hello. friends. Hi. So this is my first time in Australia. No way. I mean, it's been three days, but yeah, it's my first time in Australia. Have you seen any Australian animals yet? So, I, oh, yeah. boy, have I. I, I saw a rat with a whole hamburger in its mouth. I haven't seen my that first before. Day here, right across from the hotel in the park. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I missed that. Big rat. Big hamburger. Oh, no. Just the whole thing. I have video. I'll show you. Okay, thank you. you. Um, yeah. I have not seen any cassowaries yet. And you I'm told to. you're supposed to go and pet them. If yeah, you see one. yeah, that's right. Right on that, uh, right on that crown they got there. Bro. They really like it. Yeah. Little tummy pets. If you like that, they'll lay down and then. I like when, yeah. they, when you scratch their beak. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good. Yeah, I'd yeah, to yeah, see yeah. you in a kicker match with one actually. Ooh. Ooh. You know? yeah. Have you seen a bin chicken? I have not seen a bin chicken. Okay. Maybe you see some of those. What is a bin chicken? It's an ibis, and they live in they live in eat in bins. They got a real long beak, and they eat, they eat bin stuff. That's why they're called bin chickens. But do they exist outside of cities where there are no bins? Or did like the species evolve and adapt to trash cans I like to think and so. human garbage? I like to think they were born in the city, completely suburban. Where are you guys from? Sydney. 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 I mean, we did also drive past kangaroos just now. We did, yeah, did yeah, we? yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're always at Melbourne Airport. Yeah. Wait, is that But they're like in the distance. What? Yeah. Adelaide's next stop. Though. Oh, man. You'll see plenty of yeah, Adelaide. you'll see, see there's Adelaide. kangaroos in Adelaide as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. So the sad thing is I'm missing the day off that the tour has in Australia where they normally go and do fun things. Yeah. Because after my match today, which is going to be first match on the show, I'm flying directly to Japan. Oh. And then flying right back after that. Yeah, because you're a cook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, because I, I can't say it, but you can. What am I? You're a fucking cooked con. <laughs> So this is, without a doubt, the nicest hotel room I have ever stayed in in my entire life. We've got the full-on bar. Look at this view. Look at this bed. Nice paintings. Look at this. Now that's fancy. And also... Little iPads here. It's a shame I actually won't be staying here tonight and instead I'll be going straight to the airport. Okay, so we're in Adelaide, which is your hometown. It is. This is Jordan Heathley so. of uh, DDT fame, which... Brief DDT fame. Brief DDT fame. <laughs> well, even fame is relative. <laughs> um, I consider myself on the Z list. Z, Z list of DDT, which is like, yeah. Uh, Somewhere in like, if, if you're like, you know, up here, I'm like somewhere like off camera, probably. Kind I, of thing. I feel like if I was vlogging when I was in Japan, which is something I completely regret <laughs> not doing, I'm very sad that it took me this long to like start doing this. But I feel like for a couple years, you would have been a main character. I was very briefly a main character in Sammy Guevara's blog. For That's right. Too. So I've That's right. Kind of a veteran at the blogging game, you know, the rest of the blogs. <laughs> Do you know which episode? I, I guess you'd have to go way back. One in of the Sammy's episodes where right? Sammy Guevara was in Japan for DDT, I pop up in the background for a second, holding up a T-shirt. So, you know, you kind know. of a big deal. I know some people just throwing it out there. So yeah, there, there we go. That's yeah. a that's some fucking. You already <laughs> name dropped Takeshita. I know. Name dropped Sammy Guevara. <laughs> Things are going fast, but yeah, you're an Adelaide local. Yeah, yeah, grew up here, lived here, wrestled here briefly. Uh, obviously did a couple years in Japan with DDT, met Speedball, became good friends. And when he said it was Adelaide, I'm like, Let's go. I gotta take you out for the cultural experience. Right, of uh, Bunning Snag. Bunning Snag, we had a couple of extra boys coming with us and one of them has no idea where we're about to go. And that's pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to sharing so I have Aussie culture with extensive, someone with zero idea. I have extensive knowledge of Bunning Snag and Australian culture mm. from that one Australian Simpsons memes groups. 
that I that I follow extremely closely. So yeah, this is this is the one thing I was the most looking forward to coming here. So let's go do it. With the lot. Yeah. They don't know what they Okay, it's time. Oh, wow. Go. Hello, friends. Yeah, go here. Oh, they've cost you 20 snags now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's fucking time. We've got Robbie Eagles. Sausage. Four. Sausage. Bread. Oh. Hot dog. Oh, hot dog. Like hot dog. Oh, yes. Australia's hot dogs. Onion, okay. Oh, man. So, what is the, what is the classic? So, yeah, I see mustard. I would get it with mustard. Yeah, I mean, mustard. the classic is, is very basic. It's a piece of bread, a sausage, a little bit of onion, and then either just tomato sauce or ketchup. And that's about it, really. Simple, easy, and very culturally appropriate. Wow. Yeah, we're good. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my Oh, well, mustard and barbecue sauce? Yeah. Absolutely. You don't mess around. Take a bite out of that for me. Wow. Yeah. And the sauces. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. How many drinks is that? Mm. What would you like? You wait with it patiently? Yeah, I am. Oh! Oh! Oh, man. So that's a disaster, is what we call it. It's a cultural disaster. Yeah, so this is Australian culture in a slice of white bread. So the uncooked white bread is interesting. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is everything I hoped it would be. How does it feel to be part of Australian culture? Mm. Do you feel like Aussie now? I feel like a real sick. No, I can't even say it. <laughs> I mean, you've got the mullet, you know. You definitely can. Great. Right. Then I can just leave my car there the rest of the day. Yes. Yeah, so that was actually fucking delicious. I told you. It was a. I I had expected regular like Frankfurter style hot dogs, but those are actually good real sausages. Yeah. There's a lot more meat in those than there is in a. Uh, Typical American hot dog type yes. thing. Yes. A lot more. This felt a lot more like actual animal than just animal product. I mean, it's still animal product, but I think the ratio of animal to product is probably a bit closer <laughs> to the animal side here. Yeah, the onions are great too. Strongly recommended. I feel feel very Australian now. Yeah, I mean, you got feel the mullet. Integrated. You probably got a mullet. just need like a cigarette. I don't have the mustache. Yeah. So a hard hat for some reason? Not necessarily a hard hat, what you need is what we would call high vis. High vis, high vis. You know, that's like high bright vis. yellow, bright orange. That's like what a tradesperson would wear, right, right, construction right. worker. So you need to be in You're sold to the earth, working class man type shit. Are you trying to get me to join, Ravi? Well, if you want high vis, that's basically what we wear already. So. Right. Haha, ha, that's the joke at Ravi's expense. <laughs> he wears orange, it's high vis. Australian humor, it's great. <laughs> Good, very funny. <laughs> So this is actually a really cool venue. I guess we're in a smaller room, but it's a whole rugby stadium. And they've got some nice the roosters. This is all pretty cool stuff. Okay, so we're at the venue. Look at this. TJ, this is a sick venue. I guess the ring's not set up yet. But it, this is, I don't know how many people will have at the show tonight, but you that's can, a huge building. You can see where it's squared up right there. Right? That's where they, the ring will go on that white top, right? I don't know much about rugby, but I'm assuming these posts have nothing to do with the game. That's the set that they have put up, That's right? the entrance. Yeah, they'll have two the, entrances. The LED panels, heels in the back, faces in the front. Yeah, like the impact zone. Yeah. We're in the Australia zone. What's that ring for, though? Oh, that's probably for the rugby. 
<laughs> the old Adelaide rugby ring. <laughs> well, yeah, big stadium show tonight, I guess. Kiosks are open. Oh, gotta head to the kiosk. I saw your vlog last night. I'm like, oh, <laughs> so I was just gifted more Tim Tams as well as more of the caramellos. Awesome. Uh, but so it's not a problem because they're all gonna get eaten regardless. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty vlogging after this. Okay, so we've got. Thank you so much for the Tim Tams. You're welcome. Uh, however, as much as I love the Tim Tams, this little guy is absolutely adorable. So thank you so much. And as I just said, I have a thousand boxes of Tim Tams already, which is fine because we're going to eat them all anyways. Okay, so it's opening match in a few minutes, and then it is right to the airport.
Brian. Another fucking. That's a good, fucking good one, brother. Good one. My camera's all foggy. Hold on. To wipe it. Hold on. I think I looked more jacked yesterday. It's because of the it's because of the foggy lens. Because because we brought the heat. We brought the heat. It's too foggy. There you go. This is this is better. the lighting you need. Better. There it is. Oh. So this tour is setting us up to win. Do you know what I mean? Like the easiest situations oh, you can be in. Absolutely. It's not like, just the, the instructions for the match were something like, do high spots and falsies. <laughs> get, basically get your shit in, which I know a thing or two about. I, I will say too, fucking, I, this is the only match I politic to get. As soon as I found out that Steve Ball was booked, <laughs> I told Adrian, the, the promoter booker on here, I said, hey, I have got to have a match with him. And he was flopping around trying to make it work. And then too, we're right here in Adelaide, Right before poor people has got to jump on a flight to Japan. I've got to go right now. But, but we still tore the ass down and we got to be match one, which made it even it. better, so. Fucking killed it. Yeah, that was too easy. Again, too easy. cheating. Too easy. Cheating. Do that thing where you put the camera on your head. I'll put the camera on your head. Okay, perfect. Oof. Hello, Jennifer. <laughs> Hello. So you are my shepherd for this extremely <laughs> manic part of my trip. <laughs> and we are, I am rushing to the airport right now. He should have left five minutes ago. I should have. You're right. <laughs> it's, uh, what time is it? It's like 6.10. It's a 20 minute trip. 6.11, yeah. Shoot. If I uh, don't have time to check my bag, I am going to leave it at baggage claim and uh, have someone pick it up. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's hope I'll make it. Okay, so I'm just about to board my flight. To Melbourne, so it's Melbourne, Hong Kong. I've said this before, I've said this a hundred times, but Melbourne, uh, sorry, Adelaide, Melbourne, Melbourne, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Tokyo. So I will see you guys back in Tokyo. Fingers crossed that I make it there safe. My bag is checked. I've got extra gear in my backpack in case that gets lost. 